Welcome to this short video where I'm going to walk you through how to do a net present value analysis for project selection. I'm going to show you first how to do it manually in Microsoft Excel and then I will show you how to use some of the built-in functions of Excel to do the same calculations. I'm going to do this analysis on Project Walnut and I've been given the capital costs, the annual operating costs, the annual operating revenue, the cost of capital within our company, as well as the number of years of operation or how long we're going to do this uh, analysis for. I'm going to start out with a column called year and I'm going to start out with year zero. I start off with year zero because that's where I actually want to place my costs of uh, the project at the beginning or the capital costs. So now I'm going to do this for the subsequent years here. And then I'm going to want to put in a column for my annual revenue, my annual costs, and my uh, net revenue then. Now I'm going to put in my annual revenues, my annual costs, and my net revenue. For year zero, I'm just going to have the negative costs of the uh, capital expenditure for this project, so $340,000. For the first year, I'm going to have $90,000 of revenue, but I'm going to have $30,000 of costs, so I'm going to subtract my costs from my revenue to get a uh, net revenue each year of $60,000. Okay, that's the undiscounted revenue. So now what I'm going to do is actually put in the calculation to figure out the discounted net revenue. My formula for this is going to be um, the revenue for the year divided by 1 plus the cost of capital or the discount rate. Now I'm going to do something here to make sure that uh, as I copy and paste this formula, Microsoft Excel does not try to move this relative to the other cells. And that is then going to be raised to the power of whatever year it is. Okay. And I will then replicate that calculation. I can uh, then really figure out what my net is for the entire project. In a couple of different ways, I could produce a uh, ROI column over here. Basically in the first year or first time that we're calculating this for year zero, it's going to be equal to um, that amount for the year. And in subsequent years it'll be the previous year plus whatever we've earned this year. Okay, so you can see uh, that at the end of the five years we still have not really made back the money that we have put into this, especially when we count the uh, time cost of money. Now we can uh, take a look at what it would take to actually get back to a point in time where we would make money on this project. So we can um, actually look at future years here and we can see that it wouldn't be until, it uh, looks like sometime in year eight, um, we would cross over and start to make money. But that's not our current planning horizon here. So we're going to leave this at five years. Now I said that I would show you a couple other ways that 
you can calculate this using Microsoft Excel. The first one is the built-in formula called PV. Um, so if I say equals and then PV, it will ask me for the discount rate, the number of years, and then um, the basically what we call our, our net revenue here. Okay, so we're going to uh, select that. This is useful if this net revenue will be the same over all the years. Now, one of the things that's a little bit odd about this is because this PV function is used a lot with um, calculations regarding um, a loan payments. Uh, it is considered uh, negative, so it's going to come up with a negative value. We can see that here. If I uh, just do that, it's going to come up with a negative value. Okay, so I'm going to alter this formula to have a uh, to make it negative, and I'm also going to alter it by uh, adding in our net revenue amounts, that negative amount for the uh, first year, and we see that we get in fact the same exact value. Okay, That is useful if our uh, amounts or our income streams are going to be the same in all future years. There's another one called NPV uh, and in that case we enter the rate uh, and then we're going to actually give it a range of the uh, values. Okay, So if these were all differing this would be very useful. Uh, and we don't have to give it the number of years because it can see those. Um, it assumes that each one of these is a different year. Okay, And if we do that, we get a positive amount. So in this case, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to actually subtract off or actually add that negative uh, net revenue for the year zero. Okay, So those are two different ways that you can have Excel automatically calculate these things for you. I do think it's useful to be able to know how to do this, um, not only in project management, but in many other uh, areas of your life, being able to understand how to calculate the future value of money using the spreadsheet.